Hey guys, this is Ryan with Mom on Mission. If you are new here, I am a Christ-following wife and a book-loving homeschool mom to three boys. So definitely subscribe and click that notification bell if you would like to stick around and see all things um, gospel, biblical womanhood, book, and homeschool related. Um, and today I have a, um, not really an unboxing, because I've already unboxed all this stuff, but basically it is my sunlight haul for the year. Um, I have about 90% of my sunlight books in. Um, I did not buy um, the full set at um, directly from Sunlight's website. Um, I kind of pieced it together this year and they're almost all in. They would all be in except Sunlight um, right now is very behind on orders because of the huge surge in homeschoolers this year, which is, I guess, a good problem to have. Um, and then a few books I was supposed to get from another company and they shorted me those um, in my order and apparently like someone bought them out before me since they were used books. There was only one book left, um, which I understand, but instead of like saying anything to me, they just shipped me shorted three books. I don't know, it was kind of shifty, but I'm getting a refund and therefore I'm ordering them from a different site. So those three books aren't in either, but I have almost all my stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this. And I am recovering from a cold, so if I sound a little congested and gross, that's why. Okay, so um, if you don't know anything about Sunlight, Sunlight is a literature-rich and literature-based system. Um, it's very Charlotte Mason-y. We delve into good living books and use those to teach. Um, so we read a lot and we discuss a lot. And I use Sunlight for what used to be called their core um, now I think they call it HBL, History Bible Literature. So we knock out all three of those subjects um, with this one set. And so we'll read the books and just um, go through the study guides that just have pretty basic questions and kind of conversation starters. And um, we have done it for one week only, but we are loving it. My kids are happy, I'm happy, so, so far, so good. So here's what you'll expect to find. We're doing Core B or HBLB. History Bible Literature B. Um, so for Bible, they mainly use this book, Leading Little Ones to God by Marion M. Schooland. And it's just kind of like a devotional type setup. Um, and most days have um, like questions at the end. It has like a reading and then it has questions and then it has a scripture passage and a hymn and a prayer suggestion. So far, this is really good. Um, and it's kind of following some catechism type questions, so I kind of like that. Um, we do catechism separate anyway, but I like that this is kind of in there too. Um, and then they also want you to use, obviously, your actual Bible, um, which we do that every day. But then also, they also want you to use a CD called Sing the Word, A New Commandment. Um, and this I actually found on iTunes, so we didn't buy the CD, but we have it um, in our iTunes library. So then for the history section, here are the books you will expect to see there. You have A Child's History of the World by Virgil M. Hillier. We have never used this before, but I have heard great, great things about it. Um, and then we're currently using this one, Wonderful Houses Around the World um, by Yoshio Komatsu. And this is a really good way to start introducing kiddos to different cultures. Um, it's a very gentle approach, but it gets some good conversation started. Um, you'll look at the outside and the inside of a home in a different country and just talk about how it um, differs between your house and that house. You'll be using Archaeologists Dig It for Clues. I've never looked at that book before. We'll be using Usborn Book of World History. I'm pretty familiar with Usborn books and really like them. Um, they are not Christian-based, though, um, so sometimes there might be stuff in here that we don't agree with. But I have noticed in the notes, um, Sunlight's really good about pointing things out like, hey, this might not exactly line up with what you believe, um, because Sunlight is a Christian-based curriculum. Um, then we have Tut's Mummy, Lost and Found. And then we have... The Esborn Time Traveler, 
So some of my books I purchased used, what I couldn't find used, I bought new. Um, and the used ones I either got online, like thrift books or, you know, websites like that. Um, or we have a um, homeschool um, used book store um, close to us. Um, but some of these, like this one, I borrow from a friend. So it is a little well-loved, but it still reads the same. So um, I have a friend who also has used Sunlight and has graciously offered to let me borrow some of her books that I couldn't find. Um, and then we have The Great Wall of China by Leonard Everett Fisher. And then we have... George Mueller, The Guardian of Bristol's Orphans by Janet and Jeff Binge. And these books are always good, the Christian hero books. And then we have Catching Their Talk in a Box, A Life Story from Missions by Betty M. Hockett. So I like how their history section is not just history, it's history, it is geography, and it is um, missions based. So that is really neat. And also for history, um, we will be using Around the World with Kate and Mac. That is one I had to order from Sunlight. I couldn't find it used. Um, so it will be here soon. For the literature section of History Bible Literature, we will be reading Homer Price. And this is a very well loved copy. <laughs> I just happened to get this a few years ago. Like, at a thrift store, I believe, and it's falling apart, but the inside's still intact, so that's okay. Um, we'll be reading Henry Huggins by Beverly Cleary. I'm gonna go through these kind of fast because there's a lot of them. Of course, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. We've already started that one this week. We will be reading this and have already started reading poems out of this National Geographic um, book of animal poetry. So this has just really, really beautiful pictures in it. I love this book so far. Of course, I open it up to a picture of a mouse, and I don't think mice are cute. But um, And then we'll be reading Mr. Popper's Penguins um, by Richard and Florence Atwater. Of course, some of these books, like Charlotte's Web, Mr. Popper's Penguins, we've already read as a family, um, but it doesn't hurt to reread them. They're good. Owls in the Family by Farley Moat, The Year of Miss Agnes by Kirkpatrick Hill. We'll be reading from the Usborn Greek Myths for Young Children. Happy Times in Noisy Village by Astrid Lindgren. Little Pear by Eleanor Frances Lattimore. Kildee House by Rutherford Montgomery. The Year of the Baby by Andrea Cheng. Babe, the Gallant Pig by Dick King Smith. Detectives and Togas by Henry Winterfeld. Goonie Go Bird Green by Lois Lowry. Understood Betsy by Dorothy Canfield Fisher. And Mountain Born by Elizabeth Yates. We're also doing Sunlight's Independent Readers. So I purchased the reader guides for both second and fourth grade since I have a second and a fourth grader this year. Um, and then I just, again, bought most of the books used. A few of them um, we had to buy new and are probably still waiting on. So for my fourth grader, you'll be reading Marco Polo. And I love how not every book is just a novel. Some of them are um, more like historical books or biographies. He's currently reading More Stories from Grandma's Attic by Arletta Richardson. He'll read Ralph S. Mouse by Beverly Cleary. This will be a reread for him, but like I said, I don't really mind. We'll be reading The Whipping Boy by Sid Fleischman. The Children of Noisy Village by Astrid Lindgren. Betsy and Tacy Go Over the Big Hill by Maud Hart Loveless. Encyclopedia Brown by Donald J. Sobel. McBroom's Wonderful One Acre Farm by Sid Fleischman. B is for Betsy by Carolyn Haywood. 
Lumber Camp Library by Natalie Kinsey Warnock. A Llama in the Family by Johanna Hurwitz. Emily's Runaway Imagination by Beverly Cleary. You just can't go wrong with Beverly Cleary, in my opinion. Ginger Pie by Eleanor Estes. Misty of Chincoteague by Marguerite Henry. Frindle by Andrew Clements. Mustang Wild Spirit of the West by Marguerite Henry. And The Toothpaste Millionaire by Jean Merrill. Um, and then our second grade book list is Surprises. Um, poem selected by Lee Bennett Hopkins. Frog and Toad All Year by Arnold Lobel. Daniel's Duck by Clyde Robert Bula. Pompeii Buried Alive by Edith Cunhart. Owl at Home by Arnold Lobel. Mouse Tales by Arnold Lobel. Greg's Microscope by Millicent E. Selsom. Hill of Fire by Thomas P. Lewis. I love that it says a reading rainbow book. <laughs> Flashbacks. Um, Amelia Bedelia by Peggy Parrish. These were my favorite when I was a kid. Nate the Great by Marjorie Weinman Charmat. Frog and Toad Together by Arnold Lobel. The Big Balloon Race by Eleanor Coer. The Fire Cat by Esther Avril. Wagon Wheel by Barbara Brenner. And Titanic Lost and Found by Judy Donnelly. And then a few that we're waiting on, I forgot for my fourth grader, we're still waiting on Henry and Ribsy and Socks by Beverly Cleary, I believe, and Escape from Mr. Um, Limoncello's Library. All three of those were the ones that a different website gypped me on and I wasn't too happy about. Um, and then he's also going to be reading um, The King's Equal, which um, Sunlight is going to ship us because I couldn't find it used. And then my second grader will also be reading Sword in the Tree and Frog and Toad, Our Friends, which we're waiting on. Um, and then he's also supposed to be reading from the Beginner's Bible. And I actually remember using this Bible as a kid. And then we had a copy. And so I didn't buy it, but I forgot that I donated it to my church. So I have to buy, well, I ordered a new one of that. So I have to wait for it to come in. But other than that, this is all the books we'll be reading. It is a lot of books, but that is why I love Sunlight, is that it works reading into um, our curriculum. So we're learning about other things, but we're doing it through reading. And that is what my kids and I love to do. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, people say like, if you love your job, then it doesn't really feel like work. Well, if you love your curriculum, it doesn't really feel like learning, which is cool. So this is what we'll be using this year, Sunlight. History Bible Literature B with the second and fourth grade readers. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you next time. Bye.